Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Top Deck King here with another deck tech. Um, this one's gonna be a best of three deck. So if this deck goes well, we'll have a cyborg guard at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Um, of course, always check the description of the video because it has the uh, portable list to the deck. So you can uh, import it both to Arena, both mobile and PC. I'll have both versions. And as well as talk a little bit about the decks. Check the, so check the description. Um, I would love to hear if you have any comments on the deck or if you try the deck out. Feel free to leave some comments down below. Um, love to hear the feedback about the deck if you try it out or if you have any ways to improve it always love to hear some feedback on it um and for all the new people who are watching if by the end of your video or by the time you stop watching if you enjoy the content both intro cyborg guide gameplay all that go ahead and hit that subscribe button but let's go ahead and get into the intro deck so like i said it's a four color doom deck we need we plan the blue for the counter magic against the soul tie ultimatum decks pretty much and then the the rest of the deck is pretty much obs on so that way we can take advantage of all the cards that they have like Eerie Ultimatum, you know, we have Vanishing versus a great card. We got Chariots, Pelucanos, Binding on the Gods, you know, stuff like that. So we take advantage of those cards. So let's go ahead and get into the intro real quick. So one disdainful stroke, like I said, this is more against the control decks. We have enough removal that I need something to counter hard counter cards, and that's where dispute comes in or disdainful stroke comes in. Four omens, we're a doom deck. We so there's no reason not to be running four omens here. Two tested talents. This is primarily mainly against the soul tile tomatum decks game one catching them off guard with the test of talent or necromantia to call out their ultimatum will be huge and we can easily beat the ultimatum deck in a one-for-one -one battle is when they bring in either two planeswalkers or take an extra turn on a planeswalker stuff like that when they bring that stuff in that's when it becomes problematic so two main deck test of talents against that deck as well as this deck being very great against rogue decks in the game one so we could remove you know drown the lock or into the story out of the deck the the removal i split it to three vanishing first three hardest sacks and one eliminate so i want to see how that works obviously eliminate is good against the white decks not so much the hardest act because they could put counters on their creatures but the vanishing verse kind of clears up the the process there because it just exiles the monocolor permanent so if we can't kill this because you know they have counters on their creature we can just exile it if their creatures are small and they have counters we have eliminate so that's my removal package we have two maze mind tomes for a draw um i didn't want to do too much of the treacherous blessing because it could hurt myself obviously it feeds doom foretold but taking too much damage could cost you so i wanted to try some maze mind tome gives you the scry gives you some draw power so we'll try that one dance in the mans we have enough enchantments here artifacts that we can use it to bring back so instead of running like two ultimatums in the obzon deck since this is four colors one dance one eerie we have omens we have maze mind tome if it gets milled or something we have the other omen we have nightmare we have treacherous blessing chariot doom binding ecd so we have a lot of targets so we could bring back two omens light this is our life gain this is doom uh foretold create bodies one main deck mystical dispute in case we need the one mana counter spell turn one or something callous blood mage is actually a great card i've been putting him in a lot of my black decks now because he's very versatile he can against aggro decks make a one one against you know control decks draw you a card and then against like titan's nest or rogues or anything like that against rogues you exile your own graveyard against titan's nest, you exile their graveyard same with cycling you can exile their graveyard it's a very versatile card then you could just yorion blink it three nightmares obviously this card's good it destroys creatures it looks at their hand exiles the graveyards one predation i wanted to just extra card advantage look at their hand and then i could use it to enter my advantage use necromantia like i said one treacherous blessing because two tomes three extinction event this is our board wipe um i think that's all i really need because i have so much already removal with eliminates hardest sacks vanishing verse and then on top of that we have doom foretold we have uh Elspeth's Nightmare, we have Omen Tokens, so three of those. One Chariot, because we run tokens with the Omens, and on top of that, you can use Callus, create a token, and then Chariot can animate and copy that token if you need. So Doom Foretold creates tokens also, so it fits perfectly well for this deck. Um, I'm trying it at one. Let's see how it works at one. If anything, if it works pretty superb, I might switch it up to two just because we generate enough tokens. And then we can just cast like a Yorion or a Plukinos and animate it. So 
four uh, Doom Foretolds is a Doom deck, three Binding of the Gods. Binding of the Gods is great, but I think three should be good enough. And so three Bindings. One Pelucanos against the Rogue decks. It's a 6-6 six, six body against the Aggro decks. It could come back. We could feed the Graveyard pretty easily. So one Pelucanos. Two Conqueror's Death. I know in the past, in the beginning, before like uh, Keldheim and all that, People, you know, decks were running like four of these copies and stuff. But now it seems like it's either aggro, so it doesn't, this doesn't really remove anything on board, or it's like the Soul Tide Ultimatum deck. And they don't really throw anything onto the board until they play like Soul Tide Ultimatum, until they do their turns, you know? Two Yorions. Let's see, I'm gonna play around with this. So that's a total of three Yorions to see if that's what I want. If not, I would probably end up cutting this down for either another Chariot. Or another Onyx, or maybe a Garouk, something like that. Like another Planeswalker, or another kind of value. So I'm going to try it out too, because I have Omen of the Sea. So that's why I'm trying two Yorions, because Blinking Omen of the Sea is obviously really great. Blinking the Maze Mind Tome to reset it, draw cards again, very great. One Onyx, this is our, it feeds Eerie Ultimatum, it feeds Dance in the Mans. I really would like to have two in this deck, and that's where it's like Yorion, do I cut it for a second one? Because like I said, it feeds Eerie Ultimatum and Dance of the Mans. On top of that, it's a good Planeswalker, it's a removal, it's life gain. Um, so one uh, Amarius Call, and then one Eerie Ultimatum, that's our top curve. The lands are pretty basic, nothing about the lands. And then in the sideboard, well, we'll go into it um, for the sideboard guard if this deck does well. So far, it's doing it's doing pretty good so far. But I want to I usually play it more than what I have already just to make sure the deck is doing well. And so we're gonna go try this out on the ladder a little bit longer, see how it does, and see how we go from there. So hopefully this will work out pretty well. So far, it's been pretty decent. But let's go take it to the ladder match and see what happens. All right, we're trying to let's try another deck. We're trying a new one, four color doom. Four color doom. Let's see how this works out. Let's see if it's any good against uh, FJ Ramon or uh, Ram one. See if it's any good against the uh, probably playing a Yorion deck. I bet. No Yorion. Ooh, this hand does not look good. We're on the. On the draw as well. I don't think this is good enough. He's not revealing a companion. So I'm assuming he's on some kind of gruel deck. So I'm going to take a mulligan. Well, oh my gosh, what happened? I I clearly clicked that mulligan, right? You guys saw that? All right. <laughs> okay, well, good job, game. The mulligan was over here. I clicked it. Oh, man. All right. And we drew another land. Okay, well, let's see what happens, I guess. Did he keep a one-lander? No, no. Yeah, see, he couldn't have. Uh, so he's playing the Mag Magda Gruel deck. Magda Gruel. All right. That was dumb. The game was dumb for me, so. Nothing I do about that. There's nothing I do. Don't have a land. Don't have a land. Of course he has a land. We're going to lose this game because it kept a hand for us. It kept a hand for us. I clicked mole again. That was dumb. Yep. Embercleave. Well, that's Embercleave. That's clearly Embercleave. Guess he's gonna save it here. Oh, I guess he wins. Ooh, that was so lucky. Ho 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 That was pretty lucky. He should have he should have cleaved! He should have cleaved. Yep. Oh you can still cleave. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Alright, well we could Ember we could ECD that out of here. Could get rid of the cleave. If you cast something big again, we can blink it. I don't want to blink it yet. I want to play chariot obviously first, but if he plays another cleave or something, looks like he has another cleave here. He does have another cleave. All right. We're dead to a, a stomp, I guess. That sucks. We are dead to a stomp. 
blink this. I mean, I get to tax this mana, but it doesn't matter. We're dead to a stomp. Unless I could draw Omen. Let's see. Do we have nothing in there? So that doesn't matter either. Jasper, that's fine. Jasper is fine. What the heck are you doing? Sure. All right. Um. Let's see. Put this on blue. Let's pull the chariot. Let's see. I can. I'm at two. I think. I think I can attack safely. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be safe here. I'm not gonna be dumb. Let's not be dumb. Sure. So you can start creating treasures. All right. Okay, now we have negate against it, so that's good. Um, so we have black, black. I guess we could put this on white. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana, huh? I can animate. I can add this to my hand. We can block. We got so if we animate, say this, right? Create a two, two. I animate this I have two blockers I'll just be dead nope that doesn't work so let's make sure and let's also make sure it doesn't tap my blue mana okay animate this attack create three tokens let's attack here so we have three tokens, so we have three blockers. If he decides he wants to block. Does not want to block, okay. And I think we have, unless he draws something with haste, I guess. If he draws something with haste, there's, yeah, you know, that's nothing we could do about it. Even, even with what we had, we couldn't stop it, so. Yeah, no, no thanks. No thanks. Not today buddy not today we're at two man it's the attacks with everything i block all right eliminate okay so let's see oh my gosh all right so animate attack with everything the mid And then we could blink it with the Orient. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, let's do that. We have to try and finish the game here. Otherwise, we just lose the game. So, I have to try to get in. And then I'm going to cast Yorion to blink the Chariot. So, he's going to take two, four, six. Okay. Then we're gonna cast El Yorion. Um, I'd rather use the white mana here. Do that. Yep. We gotta keep this one, not this one, because this one's tapped. So we gotta keep this one. Blink this. Creates me two more dudes. I have a removal and a counter spell. So he's dead next turn if he doesn't hit something good. Yep. What else does it do though? Other dwarves set sacrifice five treasures. Okay. Sure. Cast the blocker. So block, block, block. Nope. Not today, buddy. I could have just eliminated the card anyways, but not today. All right, we got game one. I don't know how, but we got game one. All right, so we bring in the Lemonades. We bring in Shadows Verde for sure. We bring in Pelucanos. 
Duress doesn't do anything. Clang, dispute, that, 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 don't do anything. All right, now we got to take out some cards. So Necromentia is not great here. Take that out. Cut out Mystical Dispute. It's not what I'm looking for here. Uh, what else? We need, what, two more cuts? Disdainful Stroke. It stops Emmercleave, but I have Negate to stop Emmercleave also. Maybe I'll cut one Negate. I mean, I have a lot of removal, see? 3-3-3, three, three, three. so hopefully, hopefully, how many lands do I have real fast? 33, 34, 35 lands. I'm wondering if I could cut this Predation. 35 lands. I could cut a Doom, I guess. Let's do that instead. All right. I was going to say cut a Predation, cuts my land, but we'll see. We'll see. FJ Ray, I'm wondering if he's on this last notch. It's probably like, dude, just just concede to me, man. Just concede. We'll keep. We have three lands: Omen, Omen, Extinctions. Play this one first, so we can have access to this because we're getting blue from this anyways. There's Rimrock. Okay. So I'm just going to probably take the three and then Heartless Act something or eliminate. So we're going to probably Heartless Act that. Yeah, let's go ahead and kill this because otherwise it's going to start creating them treasures. Take three. Play your land now. There you go. Nice, we drew an untapped source. That's what I'm talking about. Because now if he wants to attack, I can play Omen to block it. So if he does that, we have Omen. Unfortunately, we can't Extinction Event, but we get to do an Omen here. Go to 19, block his Rimrock. Sure. And if he wants to stomp my token, I'm down for that too. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm already blocking here. So if he wants to stomp it, by all means. By all means. We drew a Yorion, so that's kind of nice. Chariot. Okay. Chariot. That's a little tough. That's a little tough. All right. Ooh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not attacking. I could have taken the three and hold up Negei and Omen. That would probably have been better, but... Well, that's good. Keep throwing out evens. Keep throwing out evens. He gets to create a treasure, so that's also good for him, though. So we're going to... Since we're calling out even, we're going to block here. Because otherwise our token leaves anyways. So we're just going to block there and then play Omen and Extinction even. Obviously he's going to have a lot of mana. But he only has two cards in his hand. So let's see what happens. So I think I want Harless Act and the land here technically. Because Harless Act, yeah, we'll keep them both. Harless Act will probably get rid of the Goldspan Dragon. So extinction event on even. We'll play. We have, we have. Oh, I was gonna say we have plenty of blue. We have two blue. Let's get two access to two white just to be safe in case we draw uh, Elspeth's nightmare, or not Elspeth's nightmare. Um, yeah, Elspeth's conquers death. That's what I meant. Stompy, stompy. We cast Yorion. Blink these. Yep. He can attack me for four. But that's all, folks. <laughs> that's all, folks. No token generator for you. Copy of a... Oh, you could token generate these. That's pretty good, actually. I wasn't even thinking about that. That wasn't even on my realm of cards. That was not even on my realm of possibilities. Man, if I would have had an untapped land here. If I had an untapped land here. So I would have played this and held up these. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I'll take one land. 
Um, this is blue green. I already have lots of green, so I'll take one land. But we'll I'll bottom the other one. Three, six. This goes to seven. We can do three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there we go. So next turn we can do play land, grab Yorion, and hold these up, or we could play binding, uh, hold one of them up. What you got, opponent? What you got? The attacks. I mean, Embercleave, I guess. We just take the 10. I could chump block and make it 9. We could even block with Yorion to make it only 5. And then we play Binding the Gods to kill the, the Embercleave. And then we'll have Negei and Heartless Act up at the ready. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. He has excess 7 mana. I completely forgot that I could make copies of these treasures. It's pretty good. Pretty good. He has a dilemma. I'm assuming he doesn't have Embercleave because like why why not just attack and play it? So I don't think it's Embercleave. Unless he's baiting me. Thinking hard about what to do and then I think he has uh, Shatter Skulls, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he has to pay all his mana to Shatter Skull here. Because he keeps highlighting my Yorion. Yep, see? That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm going to chump block here just because I don't want to take four damage. That's fine. I'll chump. No reason to take unnecessary damage. Okay, well, we drew another land. So let's grab Eliori's. Let us play land and pasture. We have counter magic up and removal. And then we get to play Binding of the Gods on, I guess, maybe Chariot or Bone Crusher. I guess he's going to cast it regardless, so let's just counter it. He's trying to remove it and then cast it and then use Chariot to animate. So let's go to blocks first. And then we'll go ahead and kill it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're in Binding in the Gods, this cha- Oh, that was a really, really good draw. <laughs> Perfect. I could kill Chariot and the Jasper. That was clutch. Yep. All right. There we go. Easy peasy. Let's go take Four Color Doom to the ladder. See how, how this deck does. So far, so good. So far, so good. I think we're 5-1 or something with the deck. So, so far, so good. But my rank dropped like crazy for playtesting some decks. All right, Laura's deck. Uh, all right, we got cards we can play, so I guess I keep. Put this on black. So I could use Heartless Act. Put this on blue, so I could use Omen. And then we go from there. We have a main deck, Palucano, so that helps. So put this on blue. And then we could do either one. That's good for us. That's quite excellent. So what do we got? What do we got? Extinction event and land. I don't care for at the moment. Omen's pretty nice. I'll take that one. Especially with Yoris in my hand. Yoris! Yep, grab your land. You see it has the flash guy, I guess, because there's a pause there. Oh. All right. So I believe he has the flash guy. So, cause there was a pause there after the fetch. So I'm wondering if I just play the nightmare here to look at his hand. All right, I'm gonna wait. I'll just heartless act this creature. See, there's pauses. Yep, there it is. 
I'll just kill it now while he's tapped out. Just get rid of it. Mail me some cards. Professor Onyx. Not the professor. Not the professor. Another Fable Passage. That's fine. I'll take that. Boom. Boom. Value. I mean, two of them. Kind of sucks, but value. We get to kill one of them. If I could draw an untapped land. Oh, man, this would be so great. Because then I could play the Yoris. Guess I should have kept that land that I bottomed, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Guess I should have kept it, huh? Let's see what he gets. Yep. All right, what do you got? Can you mill me enough so you can sack the room robber? All right, untap land, untap land, untap land. Oh, Palooka nose. That was a good one. The good old Palooks. Oh, what she got? Wow, he has double drown, the triple drown in the lock. Triple <laughs> the Wow. Well, obviously I'm taking that. The triple drown. I could force one of the drones with this, but I want to draw cards. So let's play the Maze Mind Tome and see if he'll counter this. Did not counter it. So he's looking to... All right, he's looking... To do that, time to flush that guy in. I need to hit a land, so I'm going to play Omen. I need to hit lands. Alright. I should have probably scried first. Oh, we hit a land anyways. We hit the land anyways. Um, so I have one, two, black, one, blue. I guess we could put this on blue. Guess we can do it blue. So we need to hit untap land so we because he's gonna mill us. This is gonna go in the graveyard. We're gonna be able to escape this. So we're gonna put a pause at our upkeep to try to guarantee us a land. He's gonna mill us, I think, four cards, I believe, right? His hand is just drowning on the locks, man. Drown I was gonna do this on it, but gonna get countered and I'm looking for lands oh he's gonna mill us three cards actually never mind okay I need a land I need a land untap land there it is we're good exile your graveyard there's and we'll grab the plukes one so i gotta be sh careful here because i do play what's it called in my deck right i guess one two one two three four five six i have i'm gonna keep the professor onyx in the graveyard because i have ecd also we got the ecd and he can't kill my guy he can't counter it because there's only one card in the graveyard so he can't do anything against this and then we could just start using the mana to start killing his guys. Yep. You mill three cards. It's not a... Oh, now you can use Drown the Lock. Ooh. So let's put a pause here, I guess. Because now there's four cards in the graveyard. This is a four drop. Yep. Drown the Lock. You better use it. You better use it now. There you go. So that's five. Okay, let's scry. Let's go. Let's go, opponent. Land. Land. One, two. Yeah, I guess I'll keep it. Let's draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. Seven mana. So if this gets countered, we won't be able to do anything yet. All right. I'm still going to play it. Force his other counter spell out of his hand anyways. 
Yeah, let's just force the other counter spell out of his hand. He has to counter this, otherwise I'm calling out into the story. Since three of the Dragon Locks are gone. You have to. There you go. You unfortunately had to do that, opponent. We have enough blue. We're just going to do this. Could grab Yorion to hand, but I don't think I need to do that. I'd rather just draw a card here. So let's just pass turn. And then we're going to escape this guy back again. So he's going to have to sack this Wind Robber now. Because that's going to make it 7 8. Yeah, he's going to have to sack the Wind Robber. Oh no, Dance of the Mance. Not my Dance of the Mance. Maze my Tom, I don't care for. Grab, sure. Gotta sack the Wind Robber. Because I get priority. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Put this on green. I mean, I guess he could mill me again with the land, right? You know what I mean? I mean, like, I guess he could mill me again with the land, but... Alright, we bring Cling to Dust, we bring Eliminates, we bring Prolocanos, we bring in Disputes. Um, Test of Talents and Duress is a possibility, but let me see what I can cut first. Alright, so cut the Necromantia, I don't want that in this deck. Um... ECDs, I definitely don't want in this deck. Um, Ultimatum is good because he's milling me, but with Pelucanosis and Cling, oh, he just conceded. Never mind. Well, okay, he just didn't want to play, I guess, huh? Nice, I'll take it. Let's play some four color Doom. So we added, so the previous, one of the previous decks we had was uh, Abdom Doom Control or whatever. Um, but we added the blue mana here for the omens and for the counter magic. So the counter magic is the big part here. Bad Mike. Bad Mike. Your opponent is choosing which player plays first. It is another rogues deck. Oh, that's kind of cool to have, but <laughs> cool to have but we don't have the untapped land so kind of sucks ish kind of sucks ish but it's we'll do it we'll do it we got it this could pick off his drone lock or into the story right away would be nice that way we don't have to deal with it down the road no the crab is here i need an untapped land so i could kill this dummy I could kill this oh no 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 Oh, those three of them right there. There was three of them right there. That's not cool, opponent. That's not. And then we drew a card that's pretty much useless against them. Pretty much useless. Yep. Go another three. Then. Gotta play this tap and pass churn. Could use Heartless Act that in his end step. So, okay. Yep. We're just gonna use Heartless Act on his turn so that way he uses up his mana on his turn, not my turn. Because if I'm making him, forcing him to use mana on his turn, it's better for me. Well, that is pretty garbage. There's Pelucanos in there, but I mean, I doubt we're hitting Pelucanos anytime soon. Yep, we're taking it. I guess he has it into the story in his hand then. He's going to play into the story here. Maybe I was supposed to hold up the Test of Talents just to be safe. And then I could have done it afterwards. Eh, that, should, that was actually kind of a punt. That was a punt. Yep, here's into the story. That was bad. I'm so bad. 
so bad. I don't know why I did that. Gotta grab blue, I guess, too. Just let him into the story for free there. Let him into the story for free. Should have just let it resolve. And then on my turn, Harless, or on his turn, you could test or disdainful stroke with Harless Act, but all right. I, yeah, we're not winning at this point now, huh? What do we have? We have, well, what the heck was that? One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> All right. All right. I think we're just pretty much dead. We play this one bad. He shouldn't have had four cards in his hand right now. He should have only been at two cards in his hand. He should have only had two. I guess this forces a counter spell. Let's find out what counter spell. I mean, John Lock or the other one, the uh, the one that mills. Mystical dispute. So okay, good to know he made next mystical dispute. I guess. But yeah, we sh he shouldn't have had four cards here. But it is what it is. It is what it is. That's the other one we're talking about. Okay, I'm just going to concede. I'm stuck at four lands anyways. Stuck at four. Doesn't matter. All right. Let's see. Eliminates. Pelucanos. Disputes. Cling. Let's see. So obviously ECDs are out. We're going to cut Doom here. We're going to cut Necromantia. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Disdainful Shrug. No, thank you. Um... Gotta cut Uno Mas. Cut an extinction. Do have a lot of removal, I guess. I could cut the extinctions. So that way I could bring in two duresses. Yeah, let's try that. Let's bring in two duresses. Bad Mike. With his rogues. I could pick off his early spells. It'd be nice. But we messed up that game. We let him play into the story. I was supposed to just let it go through. He's going to try and end step into the story against me. Then I test the talents it. Get rid of all his, almost all his draw power. Play first. This hand is garbage, but we got lands. This hand is garbage. Garbage, I say. So play this land first because it gives us blue. This, if we need white, we have this one. But since we need blue just to be safe, oh, there's a duress. I guess let's see what you have in your hand. Okay, so he brought in obviously his cling. Okay, he kept the handful of counter magic. Interesting. So this can only counter instants and sorceries. So I can't counter that. Can't counter that. So I guess I take Drown in the Lock here. Since it's the hard counter, and we're playing enchantments. So he can't counter my enchantments with Test of Talent. Enter Skyclave, that's fine. That is a okay, my friend. We have double black. Let's grab white. Uh let's see. He attacks, play Omen, he counters it. Let's just do it now then. It blocks Skyclave. If he wants to attack, I'll block. Cool with that. I'm A-OK -okay with that. I mean, yeah, you could bring it back, but you have to spend your mana to do it. That's fine. Do it. Then you can't you, you can't hold up mystical dispute here then. And he revealed that he drew a land instead of playing the land, you know? 
So even better. Even better. All right, what do we need? We have white, white. We have black, black, green, green. So let's grab a blue. Mm. We have ultimatum. We might not want to be grabbing blue here. So let's grab black. You can play your killing. You can play the El Kalingarino. And then we're not going to even bother attacking for one. We'll just use it to block him. You can play your cling. Wow, he didn't play cling? Odd. This guy can't block either, so and we once again we saw we know exactly what he drew, so he needs to stop doing that. And he played his land, so he can't even attack. Let's go into combat. Let's create a co token to start hitting him for damage. I'm just gonna grab Yorion here to hand. Force him to just only play cling. It's so only able to play cling here, yep. Got it. I mean I have what I need to win on board. He has a, a bunch of counter spells in his hand. Sure. I'll win with what's on board, opponent. Sure. There's only what one card in the graveyard. Submit. Attack. Go to combat. I'm ready to go right now. Here, if you want to counter this, use your mystical dispute. Use the El Mystical Dispute. There you go, opponent. This should be game, I guess. Because now we animate again. He can't block here. You got it. No blocks. You got it. You grab Loris to your hand, and then I could play Binding of the Gods, and then kill you. There you go. Now we'll kill you. Now we kill him. Does the same amount of damage, so there's no point of not doing this. Because it creates a token as well. Attack. Yep. I mean, he brought in a bunch of counter spells, which is good. Don't get me wrong. But keeping a hand without any action in all counter spells, that doesn't work. That does not work at all. So he brought in Skyclave Shade, okay. Brought in, obviously, I mean, we saw that main deck. He brought in Test of Talents, it looks like. Test the Talents, Skyclave Shade, huh? I mean, I could technically exile it with that. Wait, is there anything I want to change? Predation, I can cut, maybe? That's also losing a land. No, maybe I cut a doom because he has Skyclave Shade. Maybe I just don't want any dooms here. Bring in two Test of Talents. And bring the Extinction back in. Sure. Take the doom package out and just run it more counter slash removal. Let's see if he's going to... Yeah, the Test of Talents to bring in against me is a very odd one. I run a lot of enchantments, and a test of talents cannot touch enchantments. So that's very odd. And as you, I mean, I just played around it. Like, I played all my enchantments. So I played around Mystical Dispute and just played all my enchantments. And just won with the chariot. No! What's this one lander? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Well, okay, we got about him that. Ay yeah yeah, he's gonna flash his guy in. Yep. 
Now he can win with counter magic. Ay, 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 ay. So we had to put this on white so we could hold this up. I guess I could do it now while he has nothing. Just exile it now while we have a chance. And then we could play, uh, well, he milled two cards, so we can't play Treacherous Blessing, I guess, because he can counter it. But I'm still going to play it to force him to counter it. Because as worst case scenario, we have Dance in the Mance to return it back down the road. Okay, actually, I could do that instead now. Go ahead and play Duress. If he counters it, we play Maze Mind Tome. If you counter it, sure, you got it. You got it, opponent! You got it! I guess there's no point of not scrying here. Just in case, let's scry. I don't know what I want. Is that something I want? No, I don't want that. That is a good card, though. So... If I play Treacherous Blessing, then I could go grab blue. But do I need blue? Yeah, I would need blue, I guess. Sure. Two, four, five. Drown in the lock? Sure. Interesting. Quite odd, but interesting. We drew another land, so that's good. Do removal, counter spell, land, this. Okay. That's pretty good, though. Uh, I'm not going to crack. I'm just going to wait. So we have... I guess I can crack now and see what I can get from it. What do I need? So we have blue and black here. So it's either green or white. Okay, do I need double white? I do for ultimatum, I guess. But other than that, I think that's it, right? So maybe I don't want to grab white. Yorion can be casted off blue. So yeah, let's grab blue then. Put this one on. So one, two, two blue. Put this one on. I got two blacks. Put this on blue. And we'll just pass turn. What does he have in here? Nothing. But why do you grab Loras? What do I have in here? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all right take a damage we'll take a damage heartless act eliminate i already have eliminate one two three four so bottom bottom don't need those another omen so the only way we get punished here is if he has into the story with mystical dispute it's the only way we get punished. I guess we could keep the lands. Maybe I'll keep one and put one to the bottom. My turn. Okay. Let's put this down. And we'll pass. We'll hold this up. Hold this up. That resolves. We'll just go ahead and eliminate this now. Get his creatures off the play. Wow, that was instant. So you can cast and you can cast. That was actually really interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I use Mystical Dispute here on this. Oh, that was the, he could just pay the mana. But then he's tapped out, I guess. Into the story. Yeah, that works too. Don't need that. We filled up his hand. Not, no, 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 I don't need lands. Don't need lands. All right, well, hold up Omen, play Maze My Tome. Or hold up Omen, activate Maze My Tome, I should say. He has a huge hand, though. Seven cards. No, six cards. Six cards. Pretty sure he easily has counter spells here.
Ah, ok, ok, mi hai. White Omen, Scry. Test of Talents, I'll take. Let's use this, draw a card. Binding of the Gods, that works. Ish. I think I'll do this instead. Let's draw more cards. More cards. What you got in your hand? Into the story. Cling. Dance Awakening. Journal of Soul Guy Lantern. Another Cling. All the mystical disputes. Into the story. Test of Talents. One, two, three, four. I'm not going to do this because I might need the um the life gain. Let us draw this way first so I can sequence my hand. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Happy Mother's Day. That was tough. That was tough to decide. Yep, into the story. Results. We got a lot of cards in our hands. What do we have? One. Okay. Dude, this might kill us. We need to draw Vanishing Verse. Heartless Act, sure. We're going to take five, use this. Yep. All right, let's see. Gain some life. Scry. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I think I'd rather exile this from its graveyard, right? Gain some life. Yep, let's do that. All right. Um, we have white, white, white. So I guess we need maybe the second green here. Do that. Play Binding of the Gods, destroy that. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to lose to our own Treacherous Blessing, I think. So let's kill this. So when I, I guess I have to do it now. Let's see. Play Nightmare gives me access to Clink and Mystical Dispute. Okay, let me read this. Graveyard, it is your turn. You may cast it from your graveyard this turn. Ugh, yep. Yep. Let's get rid of this. We have to unfortunately do that. Yep. I mean, him milling me more cards is kind of helpful for this aspect, but we'll see. We shall see. 
I don't know how many counter spells he has in his hand. I get to look at his hand, so I get to take one of the counter spells out of his hand at least. What's in here though? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six permanents we could bring back. I don't care for this. Six permanents. All right, we could bring back six permanents. Seven. I wish you would have been able to mill me for more, but we get to bring back seven cards. Okay. Treacherous Blessing, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Don't you dare do it. Wow. Okay. What am I missing? Black, black, black. White, white, white. I guess I'm missing green. It's like, what am I missing here? Okay. Let's do it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Eerie ultimatum for the win. Eerie ultimatum. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We want to get seven permanents, but it's still good. It's still good. All right. So what are we blinking? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no point of blinking that, so... Let's activate this. Can actually even create a this. Let's do that too. Grab that. Let's make some dudes. And we have the one dispute up if we need it. Make some dudes. You're up. Start doing some stuff. Kill that. Responds. Responds. Um. I don't care for this. I mean, yeah, he keeps bringing it back, so I'm just gonna take this out of the out of play for now. Sure. What does he have? Cycle. You got it. Might I'm like I said, I might be just dying to this treacherous blessing. I might just die to straight up treacherous blessing. Um, da, 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 da. I guess these are both technically fine, right? I mean, I'm gonna look at his hand, I guess, next turn, anyways. Maybe I don't want that, but removal, I do. Omen, I'll take because it gives me some life back. Vanishing first, exiles like this idiot, and then we draw three cards. And you're up, opponent. You got it. How many cards do I have? 36. I'm not getting milled out yet. I'm not getting milled out yet. All right, so I have to discard a card. I guess I could discard this card then. Because every other card I, I will use, and this would be my untap source. He played lane. He played that first? What? Instead of, like, attacking here? So you could... All right. You got it, opponent. Because now you don't get to bring back the Skyclave Shade. Alright, we're going to use this to gain life. We already have enough cards. So we're just going to actively use it to just scry. Constantly, constantly, constantly. Let's see what you have in your hand. And I can also see if I can crack this Fable Passage, actually. If I have any more basics. I have zero more basics. Okay, so that's useless. That's a discard. Well, that's easy. That's a hard counter. The other one is not. All right. So let's go and get into the combat. Play this. Combat. Hit you for 4, 8, 12. Get 12 in the face. What do we have in the graveyard? We have 1, 2... 
We have two, so that's not worth it. All right, we're just going to pass turn then, right? Yep. You can use your castle here. I'll use cling to gain some life. So let's remove Loris. So since we, let's just remove all our spells here. Remove the spells. You want to mystical dispute this? By all means, let's gain some life. We have heartless act. We have so much mana. This game is over. This game's over. Let's do the omen. Make sure I don't need white. So let's just tap the white all together because I only need one white. And then these two tokens can block these two creatures. And I have Tested Talents and Mystical Dispute. You got it. Game over. There we go. There we go. Beat another rogues. Do Uno Mas. Four color Doom. Uno Mas. One more. See what we play up against. What is this guy? Mask. Evic. Massiv Massivic? Massivic? Massivic. Massivic. We'll keep. We have Tome Omen Binding. This, not so much, but Tome Omen Binding. Depend. Let's see what he. Let's see what colors he's playing. Okay. So he's playing Obzon. Interesting. Well, but then he's not running Yorion. Maybe this is it's green black. I actually have no idea to be honest. A 60 card Doom deck, maybe? You got me, man. You got me. Black White? Okay, so we'll do that first. Since we're going to scry, let's crack first and then scry. Because if we play this and then crack, it shuffles the deck. Little things like that. That's if we end up doing this. We could just, just draw a card. But if we end up doing that, Elite Spellbinder, sure. You got it. I don't need to play any of the, I don't need to play Omen, so. You can take Binding of the Gods, I have another one in my hand to kill your Elite Spellbinder. Yeah, see, it's a tough decision. It's a tough decision, because I have, I took Dance of the Mints. Interesting, okay. I mean, it's a late card regardless, so I guess we grab black here. Let's draw a card. Let's put this on white, because that's green. So that way we don't reveal any extra cards, you know? Kill the binder. Spell binder. And pass turn. I guess the only bad part here would be if he has um, his own Binding of the Gods. Redain, that's fine. I have Heartless Act. We got the, the Heartless Act. So play this, grab this. Let's go ahead and just kill this. And you're up, opponent. One, two, one, two. We have two omens. We have we can play omen and oh Kaya. What? Well, too bad it just does. I guess you could remove my maze mind tome, right? Yeah. Okay. So I guess we'll be scrying. Vanishing verse. All right. It's a removal. I'll take it. It says removal. So kill the Kaya. Play omen. Um, I mean, I would love to have had a land drop here, but it's fine. I'd rather hold up this just to be safe. I don't know what he could play, but I'd rather hold it up just to be safe. If we hit a land here, we could play Omen and into a Yorion. Two, four, five, six, seven. There's land. We'll take them both. So, 
let's grab this one. We have one, two, three white, one, two, three, four green. So we have four green, so I guess we just put this on blue. We play Omen, Scry, and then Yorion Blink, all three. Um, I'll take the Doom, since I have a lot of permanents. And I don't think there's anything in that color that can stop at Yorion, so... I mean, he could kill my Yorion again. Oh, he's going to kill my Binding of the Guy? Oh, he could... He has Vanishing Verse. Mythos. Okay, sure. That's fine. We'll do this, then. We still get to draw cards. Mythos! Um... Nah... Nah, I'll choose it on the second one, I guess. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight lands anyway, so I'll choose it on the second one. Um, Yeah, I'll keep them both. Just in case, if he's playing an ultimatum deck, I'm going to exile his graveyard. And then that gives me my land anyways. I mean, yeah, there's nothing really in here. Well, that's fine. We have this. We also have this. Oh, he's going to destroy my creature. It's gonna destroy it. So put this on white. Play ECD. One, two, three, four. You got it. You got it. I'm not going to play this just for the fact that it could possibly get rid of something that I need to get rid of from his side of the field. So I'm thinking I'm gonna play this and just to be safe, I think maybe I should exile his graveyard in case he plays like a random... Oh, wait, let me look at his graveyard, actually. Hold on. So you can bring back one, two, three, four. So just to be safe, I'm just going to exile his graveyard. I don't know if he plays ultimatum or not, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. It's going to exile my Conqueror's Death. That's a good thing we kept this then. I mean, we could just kill it, I guess. Let's go to combat. He has a removal. He has a removal. It's fine. Use it. Use it, the opponent. We could crack these later in the game because we have dance demands here. Let's go ahead and kill your Kaya. Let's go ahead. Use the removal. Got it. That's good, because look, boom. Boom. Sack that Kaya. Get that guy out of my face. Not today, man. I'm going to sack one of them, like a scry. Because later on, it comes back anyways. Don't want either one of these. I'm looking for some good action. That's not good action. Sack this. Guess we can cycle this. It's another doom. We could just make him discard both his cards and we have Dance of the Mance. Alright, you lose both cards. We have Dance of the Mance to bring everything back. Okay. It's the other card. Baleful Mastery. You still okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay. He used the student cost. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. All right. I mean, we're going to bring a lot back with this Dance of the Man, so. We're going to bring a whole lot. I'm just going to keep, I'm going to slow it down so I can see more of his deck. Since I, I don't think we're going to be losing anytime soon, I just want to see more of his deck to see if me exile in his graveyard was the right call or not. Because it may or may not be. I don't know. Because if he's not playing the ultimatum, which would be kind of odd why he would be in these colors in a sense. Let's get hit you for three. Another one. Jeez, Louise. What are you playing, my friend? 
Garuga is one of the cards that I was debating on adding to this deck, but ended up in the end not doing it. I like Onyx better. So it's not late though, because we only there we, we got that. It's not late though, because we only hit him for seven. Okay, so he's a control deck, so I guess we like the duresses here. Um negate stroke. Test of talents not so much because we saw a lot of planeswalkers. Let's make see. So like we saw, I mean, yeah, we saw spells, but bulk of his stuff that we cared for were planeswalkers, see. Gotta keep in a little bit of removal because there is a Redain in there. Um question is okay, so let's see. Redain, huh? Harless Act, Eliminate. Let's cut one of these. Mystical Dispute. Let's cut the Necromantia. What else? What else? What else? Test the talents. Like I said, it's not good in this matchup because we saw a lot of planeswalkers. I'm gonna cut that. Mystical Dispute's technically fine. I wanted to look at his deck in case we lose game two to so I could see his deck. Could cut one of the extinctions, I guess, right? Maybe I'll cut another extinction for this. All right, let's try that. Let's give that a whirl. Not sure. Like I said, I don't know if he's playing ultimatum. I'm assuming he's playing ultimatum. But you're not 100%. All right, we'll keep. We got Omen. We got Omen. Extinction. And we drew Binding of the Gods. And I had to keep a little bit of removal because, like I said, there was Redain. Ooh, nice. Um, there was Redain and Spellbinder. I'm sure those are the only ones, so you could tax my mana, but, you know, you still got to keep it. What the heck? Target player mills three cards and return. Okay. So he, I'm assuming that he is a, and he didn't even hit a land. He didn't even hit a land. I'll keep him. Both because I need lands and Doom Foretold is a solid card. So we'll play this. So I could play Doom Foretold next turn. So I'm assuming he's ultimatum deck. He's milling himself. Seems like it. What is that? <laughs> what is that? I need this on white. Make him discard a card, I guess. What did they well, in this color is what could be foretold? That's a, quite interesting. You got a pretty spicy deck there, opponent. Pretty spicy deck. I'm kind of curious what that card could be. Oh, we didn't draw a land. Wait, did we at one point? No, we didn't. Guess I would use this to draw. He missed his land drop again, so I'm gonna use this to draw. See if I hit my land. We hit we hit land. Now we could Yorion blink some stuff. What the heck is this? A short target artifact, enchantment, or planeswalker. Interesting. My opponent's playing the spice. The spice is real. Hit you for some damage. The spice is real. Destroy target artifact, enchantment, or planeswalker. I don't think that's worth having in your sideboard. What is this? You may pay rather than pay consequences. Permits they control and returns them to their owner's hand. Destroy all non land. Ah, so that might be what it is. Okay. Fosky. Well, good thing we have extinction event. Sucks though, we have nothing but evens, but I mean, I could just blink this guy also. Hmm, what are we grabbing here? Toski, Toski has to attack, so I, maybe I just don't care about it right now. Let's grab blue. 
Maybe we just don't give a darn. So, but don't attack with this guy is the thing. Let's attack with the vigilance guys. And I'm just going to play the double omens. Yep. Oh, the discard card. Yikes. Mm. Yeah. I should have played one of the omens. I'm bad. I'm a bad player. I'm a bad player, man. Chariot, sure. I'm a bad mamma jamma. Has to attack. Block. I'm a bad mamma jamma. Make some dudes. Make some more dudes. Come on. Ugh, that's stupid chariot pause. A stupid chariot Porsche. Make some more dudes. I'm going to play Binding the Gods on the chariot here and then swing with my creatures. Ooh, nice. All right, let me make sure I have the right mana. So black, 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 check. White. So we need this on white then. So we're going to play Binding of the Gods on the chariot. Kill this off. I'm just going to attack with these two in here and grab Yorion to hand. Just these. If he wants to trade, go for it. Got it. And then we could just sacrifice one of our tokens to Tusky. And then we get to blink everything with Yorion. That's why I'm not attacking with Kallus, so I could blink. And this time, I guess I am going to exile his graveyard just to be safe. Kaya up. I guess he's getting rid of my binding. Took my Kallus. You guy. You guy. You guy. Let's grab this one. Let's put this on black. Nope. Wait, what do we have? Okay, never mind. We won. Anyways, doesn't matter. Good game. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Hopefully, you enjoyed the gameplay, the intro so far. Um, as you can see, we were doing pretty well. We played against a couple of rogue decks and gruel there and some um, Abzan, I guess, mid-range control deck it looked like because only thing I saw were Planeswalkers and removal spells. So it's an interesting deck. I would definitely, if I mean, if I doubt it, but if you're watching this and you were the Abzan player, send me a message. I would love to see that list. It looked pretty interesting. I, uh, it definitely piqued my interest while we were playing. So I was afraid of your eerie ultimatum and whatnot in case you had it. But we have played against some of those decks, some of the tier decks. Um, the only deck that uh, we've played against, uh, I think, one so far of uh, the Soul Tide Ultimatum deck. So, but we have a cyborg guide against them, and we beat the Soul Tide Ultimatum deck. So, but this is what we're doing. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the cyborg guide here, the way I cyborg. But uh, thank you everyone for watching, and if you're new, like as, as I always mention, if you're enjoying the the video, the gameplay, the cyborg guide. By the time you're done, finish watching this. Uh, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, hit the notification to post videos weekly. But yeah, let's go ahead. Always, oh yeah, always check the description of the video. It has the portable import list for PC and mobile. Some other information, my Twitter, stuff like that. Check it out. Drop some comments down below if you enjoyed the deck, if you like the gameplay, if you try the deck, what changes you would make. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the cyber guide. So the first deck, I know it's going around here and there. You see it, you don't see it. I've seen it a few times, and that's why I kind of have something for it. But it's the Is It Dragons deck, the Prismari um, stuff where they cycle the Magma Opas, play Arun's Epiphanies, and stuff like that. So what I do against them is I bring in one Disdainful Stroke, one Negate, two Disputes, one Pelucanos. So obviously the Disdainful Stroke is to counter either Goldspan, Outrun's Epiphany, even the four drop uh, dragon, the Prismari dragon, I forgot his name, but to counter that. Negate's also there to counter the their counter spells, their Outrun's Epiphanies, Mystical Dispute is just same thing, one mana counter spell against blue, worst case scenario, three mana counter spell against like a Goldspan dragon, 
and then the Pelucanos is here, so that way, since, I mean, I know they fly mostly, but it's there because you cast it as a 4-4, four, four, they're probably going to take the removal out, and then you can start fighting their dragons and their bone crushers or brazen borrowers or whatever, you can start fighting them. So I bring that in, and it's a fast clock because it's a 6-6 six, six on turn 4. Cards I take out is Necromentia. Yes, I could keep this in and call out Goldspend Dragon, take it out, but I mean, I have enough answers removal wise here. Look, Vanishing Verse, Heartless Axe, that I, I keep it in, you know, Extinction Events, ECDs, Doom Foretold, Binding of the Gods. So I take that out. Cut two Doom Foretold because it's a little slow. Um, on turn four, if I'm doing this to, you know, take a card out of their hand, then they could just cast a Gold Span. I'm open. I don't really want to leave myself open to a Gold Span. I cut two extinction events because they're not going to run that. They don't run that many creatures. I believe they run somewhere between nine to 10, maybe 12 tops creatures. And obviously, you know, some of them are going to be flash brazen borrower. And so they don't really care. So I take out two extinctions. And like I said, I'm really, really running enough spot removal with the hardest sex, vanishing verse, eliminates, you know, stuff like that. So I go ahead and cut those. Um, but yeah, that's what I do against, um, is it dragons or whatever they want to call themselves. The next cyborg guide is going to be clumped up because it's red, white, or Winota or Boros or whatever you're, you know, there's mono red, mono white, there's Boros, Winota and stuff like that. So I'm going to clump it up and the same cyborg guide against all three of the decks. So I have to promote together. What I bring in is Pelucanos, two eliminates and shadows verdict. Pelucanos is a six, six body could fight. It holds their, the line back from them. Obviously, if they have Winota, then they're going to attack because they only lose one creature. And they gain whatever, three, four, however, two creatures, however many they have. So, But you still want to bring this in because it's a 6-6 six, six body. It can block Winota and so all that stuff. Two eliminates, you can kill their early cost cards. So that way when they cast Winota, they don't have anything in play for one another trigger and shadows verdict is obviously good because it exiles everything so it goes around selfless savior their uh elsid or whatever you know goes around that stuff cards i take out are just useless cards that don't work against this deck they're a creature based deck so you don't want any counter spells you don't want test of talents you don't want mystical dispute and you don't want necromantia yes you can leave this in because you're going to get to that turn marker regardless and you can go ahead and call out the Winota. So if you want to try, I've tried it both ways. I've tried it where I've left this in and took one Doom Foretold out, or so I'll just do this instead. I'll put or one X Doom Foretold. So I've done either way. I've left it in before on the play. It's definitely a lot better than I mean on the draw because you're on the play. You're able to take less damage and play it out before it. So if you're on the draw, they're going to cast a one drop, maybe a two drop, then a three drop. Then on turn three, you're going to cast Necromantia to call out Winota versus on the play. They're going to cast a one and a two. Then you get to Necromantia them and then they get to cast a three. So you get to protect yourself a little bit more on the play versus the draw. But I've done it both ways, where I've taken out Necromantia or I've taken out one Doom Foretold. Obviously, like I said, you can keep Necromantia in. You can call out Winota itself or Blade Historian or whatever. But usually Winota is the one you want to call out and take out all copies. So it's up to you how you choose. You can try both ways, play or draw, and see how it works. The next deck is going to be Gruel Adventures or Gruel Aggro, however you want to call it. I bring in one Pelucanos, two Eliminates, uh, and one Shadows Bird. Kind of the same concept as the other three decks because this Gruel is also an aggro deck. So it's the same concept. I take out the Necromantia Dispute and Test the Talents here. And for sure, 100%, I take out the Necromantia here because there's so many they have so many like powerful cards they have gold span they have um ember cleave that you can't really call one out and be okay where against the winota deck you can for sure call out winota and probably be okay and also on that winota one where it said red white and winota i would take out necromantia against red and white and then keep it in only against the winota deck so but against the girl aggro i key i take out necromantia disputes the counter spells and i keep bring in or four you know a four drop six six removal and removal so that's what i do against gruel aggro the next deck is going to be obviously rogues the infamous rogue deck we have a lot against them and in the main deck and in the sideboard because rogues will pop up constantly you might play one rogue deck and the next thing you know 
the next day you just play against like 10 rogue decks so i i always have a sideboard against rogues because you just never know when it's going to come so and we have a lot because it, it works for both rogue decks and soul tide decks so that's why so what i bring in is one cling two mystical disputes one pelucanos two eliminates three duress so cling and pelucanos is obviously the escape mechanic that you want you want to exile your graveyard so they're into the story and John and Locke become useless. Same with the rogue creatures won't get powered up by by that. Mystical dispute you want to bring in because it's a one mana counter spell against John and Locke into the story. A lot of their creatures also. So bring that in. Eliminate. So you want to keep their creatures off the board as much as possible. So that way the less creatures they have in play, the less damage they do, but also the less mill they do. Because obviously the the one drop black creature when they keep playing rogues it mills so if you kill that less mill happens and then we want to put in three duresses and we use the the way we use the rest is either we use it like turn one turn two to see what they have in their hand we go play around what they have in their hand and then come mid game late game we play it right before we want to cast something to resolve so let's say we have five mana right we play a duress and then we'll play a Perlucanos because we want Perlucanos to resolve so that way we can have a body on the board and we can start killing their creatures. You know, same goes with you know, play Binding of the Gods, play Eerie Ultimate, and play Yoria, whatever the case is. You play duress first, see if it, the coast is clear, they're most likely going to counter it. Then you play your threat. And the cards we take out is Stroke because it only counters into the story, Necromantia because they're a low curve deck, it doesn't really, it's not worth it. Cut out, same goes with Elspeth's Conqueror's Death. The only thing Conqueror's Death can exile is Loras. I do love it for the second ability where it taxes their mana. Beyond that, I don't like it against them. One Extinction Event, just because we run a lot of spot removal or even bringing in two more Eliminates. So that's a total of, what is this, three, six, nine turn two removals. And then two, four Doom Foretolds because it's a little expensive and they are going to have cards in play. So Doom Foretolds probably won't do as much. They're going to probably try to counter your permanent. So that's what I do against Rogues. And the very last, the bane of standard right now, both in best of one and best of three, it is, I shouldn't be calling this Soul Tide Control. I should be calling this Soul Tide Ultimatum Junk because that is what it is. It's the bane of standard right now. It's taken over best of one and best of three for the most part. So we have a lot. Same with rogues. We have a lot against them. We have stuff in the main deck, obviously, but we also have stuff in the sideboard. So we bring in one disdain for stroke, one negate, two mystical disputes, and two tested talents. This is to counter their cards. Obviously, after sideboards, they're going to bring in um, their own duresses, their own counter spells and stuff like that. So this way we can combat their hand destruction versus with our hand destruction so we we bring or i'm just to say hand destruction we combat their counter spells with our own counter spells so the same for stroke negate disputes and test talents fits that product then duress they're going to bring in they might have duresses in their sideboard but this would be good to see if the coast is clear so we can play maybe a necromantia or say we go resolve an ultimatum see if our counter spells will hold up we bring in duress take obviously take out emergent ultimatum out of their hand right off the bat so we bring it in for that and then one pelucanos this way we can create a body to start attacking them so we have a bunch of counter spells in our hands now we need to throw something out there so we can win the game so pelucanos is a good way to do that on top of that it can fight elder gargara they can fight coma so it can kill their creatures cards i take out are just pretty much the removal package the removal package is just gone and go gone i mean they have elder they have um Obviously, Yorian has a companion, and they have probably Coma, so they have a few creatures. But we still have Doom Foretold, we have Binding of the Gods, we can counter their creatures. So we still have ECD, we have that. So I cut out all the spot removal kind of effects and the Extinction Event. So Eliminate, Vanishing Verse, Extinction Event, and Heart of Sacks, those are all gone. I remove that because they're a ultimatum deck. They're going to bring in counter spells, they're going to bring in hand destruction, they're going to do that stuff against this because we're a control deck also. But yeah, so that's how I go ahead and sideboard against the top decks that are being played in the meta. Um, this deck is doing pretty solid so far. Um, so yeah, give it a try as you saw on the you know thing. See what you can do. We're currently diamond two with the deck at the moment, I believe. So yeah, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Drop some comments down below. Hit that thumbs up button, that notification. 
hopefully you guys will subscribe after this and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching